Well, before the break, we showed you Dana Lash's NRA ad. It is powerful. Not everybody is impressed. For her efforts on behalf of the Second Amendment, she's being accused of trying to destroy the country. Multiple publications, including Mother Jones, say that she's calling for a civil war. Over at CNN, Sally Cohn tweeted this. In an ad for the NRA, Dana Lash accuses the left of violence of lies and calls for fighting back with the clenched fist of truth. Just wow, which is a bad thing. Black Lives Matter activist D. Ray McKesson was upset too, tweeting, quote, this NRA ad is an open call to violence to protect white supremacy. If I made a video like this, I'd be in jail. One of his followers, David Dennis Jr., chipped in, the use of a white woman as proxy for anti-black violence is a tale as old as America itself. Okay, Dana Lash joins us now. Dan, thanks for coming on. I didn't see any racial overtones in this spot. Maybe I wasn't looking for them. I did see one of the cops you seem to be celebrating was an African-American police officer. Um, but do you think, is there a racial subtext to this somehow? No, there's not. Tucker, it's, it's good to be with you, and I'm glad you're feeling better as well. No, there's no racial component in this. this the reaction to this is insane. Tucker, I'm, I'm talking over video clips that show actual leftist violence, rioting, yeah. property damage, arson, physical assault, and apparently me condemning violence is what's inciting and dividing America. Well, funny not people is... like DeRay McCusson, who are... <laughs> the, the tape is like a bunch of rich white kids setting fire to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yes. you're defending white supremacy yes. for attacking rich white kids, burning stuff? I mean, like, it's insane. It's, this, it's the goofiest thing ever. And, and I, I mean, it's incredibly clear. When I say clinch fist of truth, I mean, Tucker, and I have this here. You know, you, this, is their, this is their logo. It was, I, I can't believe I have to spell it out to, I guess, people who read with pictures. The clinch fist of truth, you know, it's just wordplay. I'm talking about fighting violence with truth because truth wins out all the time. And apparently yeah. that's bad. When you show the left, and some people on the left, not everybody on the left, but, you know, it's coming from the left. When you show a mirror, when you hold up a mirror and show them their reflection, they freak out. And so that's what I've been, that's what I've been dealing with all day. So, Senator, Senator, well, you've been dealing with a lot today. Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut wrote this, I think the NRA is telling people to shoot us. Now might be the right time to cancel your membership. I don't think he had a membership at the NRA, but um, what, do you, what do you make of that? No. I think that's exactly my point. In fact, I've actually received a couple of death threats uh, today that I had to refer to law enforcement. I think that this is incredibly reckless and irresponsible of Senator Murphy to have this response. First of all, first of all, it, it's, it's a lie. There was nowhere in this video, and I've invited him to come join me on my radio program and explain where in this video I called for anyone to go to violence. I'm condemning it, by the way. Uh, where I called for anyone to, to move towards violence, to silence anyone, or where I called for anyone to even pick up a fire firearm and enact violence. And it's reckless and irresponsible. And Senator Murphy needs to rethink his word choice here. Because we just had a couple of weeks ago, due to some of this rhetoric, like we see from Senator Murphy, had a crazy leftist lunatic go out and open fire on a bunch of Republican congressional members after he double checked to make sure they were Republican. This has to stop. And I'm not going to stop condemning violence. And it's a shame that other people, Tucker, on the left won't do the same. Well, yeah, I mean, that maybe is the core irony here. The spot that I saw, which I think is this, we're talking about the same commercial, right? And you show video of people yes. committing acts of political violence, and you say, if this keeps up, the police are going to have to put it down, which is, would be the hope, I think, of every normal person. You don't want stuff like that. You don't want violence like that. You're condemning the violence, right? Or am I missing something? Yes. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And in fact, I know that there was another lawmaker in Maryland who, who was somehow trying to blame me and saying that I was exploiting Alexandria in making this ad. I want to point out that this ad was taped in April. This ad was uploaded online in April. The reaction to this came suddenly, swiftly yesterday. It's an organized effort uh, against not only gun rights, but against speech that talks about peace and truth. And this lawmaker was somehow suggesting that I was exploiting Alexandria. Andre, when in fact, I was warning people, look, stop, everybody chill, there, chill out right. for a little bit, cool your jets, and let's have civil discussion. Otherwise, some bad things are going to happen because there are crazy people out there. And I, you never want anything to be prophetic, Tucker, and unfortunately, it was. No, that's right. This turned out to be a oppression to add. Dana, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. I appreciate it.